All right. Oh, so vlog, 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 vloggity vlog, vlog. This is literally the first time I've ever done um, pre-recorded content. Uh, I will be doing this as if I were doing it live because that's what I know. It's what I um, am comfortable with. Maybe in the future we'll get some flashy cuts and stuff like that. Um, so the purpose of the vlog is simply this. I want to document the, the grind. I want to document my experiences. Um, within this Wild West space that is live streaming. Um, <clears throat> so, to that end, this is going to be raw, it's going to be real, and it's going to be regular. I'm going to be doing this uh, every other Monday. And it's going to go up on YouTube first, and then on uh, Twitch. I'm going to upload it on Twitch probably five minutes, ten minutes after I upload it on YouTube just so I'm not uh, breaking my contract when I that I signed to become a an affiliate with Twitch. Um, so even uh, even beyond that, um, like I said, it's gonna be real, it's gonna be raw, and it's gonna be regular. It's also, uh, I wanna put forth a disclaimer like right here, right in the opening. Um, I'm gonna be talking about you know, positive things. I'm going to be talking about negative things. Um, so just know that, uh, if I seem downtrodden or I, you know, uh, just, just understand that I'm not trying to tug at your heartstrings to get you to, you know, tip or sub or whatever. Um, I am just trying to to document it for me more than anything. Um, quite honestly, this vlog um, I'm putting it out there for y'all, um, for anyone who is thinking about, you know, undertaking live streaming as a career. Maybe you've tried it, um, but really, end of the day, end of my career, um, I just want to be able to go back to this vlog series and kind of see where I. Well, not where I started, because I, I started this vlog, um, you know, three years and some months into streaming. Um, but, you know, where I was back at the beginning of 2018 and what uh, what I have accomplished since then, how things have changed, positive, negative, whatever the case may be. Um, so, if you don't know who I am, I'm Viking VOD. I stream on Twitch. Um, and I stream variety content. Um, I didn't always stream as Viking VOD. Um, I started with a friend of mine and we were the Comrade Cast. Um, I think there's still a YouTube channel floating around there with that title and some highlights if you just want to cringe terribly. Um, and so I started back in Oh goodness, I can't even remember when at this point. It, like I said, it was about three and a half years ago. So it's that simple math: eight, seven, six, five. Uh, like end of twenty fourteen, um, maybe beginning of twenty fifteen, and did uh, the comrade cast with him for you know about two two years and some change. Um, beginning November first of last year. Um, I officially started streaming solo as Viking VOD. Um, so here we are. And I guess I should just jump into, since I've gotten the disclaimer out of the way, um, also to, to tack on to that disclaimer, you know, I'm not trying to tug at your heartstrings. Um, I'm also not trying to, to brag or to boast. Um, it's not the intention. The intention is just genuine documentation of this process. Um, probably in the very next, uh, this totally, this is how my mind works. It just like, boom, boom, boom. Um, so probably in the next, the very next uh, episode, we're going to have some music. Um, I'm, like I said, I've never done pre-recorded content. Um, so I, not thinking about it, was like, oh yeah, I'll just use my Monster Cat license. Um, and you know, I will use monster cat music for this vlog. Uh, thankfully I had the smarts to go ahead and check the licensing, uh, cause I have a Twitch license. Um, turns out that you need a YouTube license as well in order to use monster cat for YouTube purposes, um, which 
means that I can't use Monster Cat. Um, so I'm gonna have to find some genuine non-copywritten music, maybe some stuff that's in the public domain. Um, you know, just something in the background to fill those little those little gaps uh, and make it a little more enjoyable. So I apologize for no music right now. Um, I'm shooting for probably around 15 minutes. I don't really want to go over that. Um, so this first episode is really just going to be um, what it's been so far. Just me telling you who I am, what the vlog's purpose is, and what we're going to, uh, what I'm going to be trying to include. Um, so I'm going to be trying to include things from uh, the financials of it. Um, and all the way to, you know, just how I'm feeling, like what in the past two weeks, in the past half month, uh, what were the ups, what were the downs, where am I at? Um, and like I said, it's, it's more for me, you know, five years, 10 years from now, whatever the case may be to be able to go back and look at it. Um, and if you can learn something from it, or if you can, you know, uh, gain a little bit of, uh, solidarity, from it then awesome um so this week um we're just gonna start with this last week um you know what actually let's keep it let's keep the format let's keep the format um consistent so it's gonna be two weeks so i need to think about two weeks ago where we were at let me pull up a calendar because you lose all sense of time when you work from home um so that would be Oh, wow, this is fantastic. So literally two weeks ago today was January 1st. Um, so that means two weeks ago today, I was still off, right? No, maybe. Well, I'm off on Mondays. So yeah, so Tuesday, uh, two weeks ago would have been the first time uh, that I live streamed after my brother passed away. Um yeah that was that was it um so they break from the format just a little bit um to just before christmas um unfortunately there was an accident my brother passed away um and uh, it, we found out literally um the day after my last day before Christmas break, you know, um, of, from streaming. And my intention had been the week between Christmas and new year's, it was going to just be balls to the wall, probably going to put out like I was conservatively thinking, you know, 40 hours of content, um, in that week. And then, uh, you know, with his passing, it just, it hit hard. There was instead funeral arrangements and, uh, all that sort of stuff that you just never want to do. Um, so I ended up taking off a, a week and it was, it was just shy or right at two weeks, um, which is never a really good thing for a broadcaster to do. And, uh, it's always a really stressful thing, even when you are, you know, letting your community know well in advance, hey, there's going to be this two week period where I'm off, I'm taking a vacation, whatever the case is. Um, as a broadcaster, you just worry about it. Um, you worry about um, losing subscribe or you got subs because on Twitch, subs are the, the monetary supporters. Um, so you worry about losing subs, um, but you also worry about, you know, those new viewers who you were making that connection with the, the people who maybe tuned in the day before you go on this break. Um, there hasn't been the time for you to really solidify, um, in their mind as a broadcaster, a content creator that wants to, that they want to come back and watch. Um, so there were those stresses, uh, there would be those stresses normally, but you know, dealing with grief, um, I didn't have those stresses on top of it, which was, um, a small, a small consolation. Um, cause had I had those stresses leading up to, um, what turned out to be a two week break in broadcasting, um, on top of, you know, grieving and all of that, um, it would have just made it, you know, all the worse. Um, so I came back Tuesday, the second, um, and when I had left, I was at 
an all time officer, um, high an all time high officer count, and officers what we call the the subscribers in my community, the Viking Armada. Um, so we were at an all time high at that point in time of twenty seven. Um, I believe at that point in time there were four or five, um, four or five gifted subs, gifted subscriptions. So. Um, those you you expect to fall off. Very few gifted subscriptions actually um, convert and then start uh, subscribing monthly. Uh, so you just know that going in. Uh, so when I came back, I was fully expecting that I had dropped down to um, you know seven six five four three twenty three. Um, but you know the fear is always that it's way way less um, and. Unfortunately, I came back and I was at 16, I believe, maybe 17 subscribers. Um, so that's always disheartening. Um, it, it, I mean, dealing with the loss of my brother and then uh, coming back and having that low sub count, um, it just kind of wasn't in a great place. But I do my, I do my best, my very absolute best to, uh, you know put reality on hold, put, put my, my shit on hold. And I'm going to try very diff, very hard not to cuss during these vlogs. Um, cause if they do go somewhere, I do want them to be able to be monetized. Um, and cussing makes that far more difficult. Um, anyway, uh, came back, had like 16, 17 subs. Um, and then of course it was after two major holidays. So, um, your viewer count is always going to be depressed. So that week, um, the week of the second through the end of my streaming schedule, which is um, the sixth Saturday, uh, I think I gained. Oh, man, I want to say I gained 10 subscribers. It was something like one. I think I averaged one or two not subscribers, sorry, um, followers. I think I averaged one or two follow follower gains um, per stream, um, which was significantly less than I was uh, prior to the break. But again, after two, uh, two major holidays, you expect that. You have to. Um, if you don't, then you haven't done it. You haven't done this for very long. And uh, maybe you're, maybe you haven't and you're listening to me and take it from me you are going to have, you know, depressed viewer counts, depressed follow uh, rate after some holidays. Um, so that week was, it was fine. I had a great showing from my, my core community, from the, the members of the Armada that had been there um, for, you know, a good long while. Uh, and they were there for me in that hard time, which I really appreciated. Um, that month monetarily wasn't anything. Um, and I think at the end of the month though, uh, not month, uh, week, week, I kept saying month there. I think at the end of that week, um, I had come up to, I want to say 19 subs. So there were several subscribers that were um, using Twitch Prime, which if you're not familiar with it, um, it's a benefit of being an Amazon Prime uh, customer, you can have one free subscription per month, um, but it doesn't automatically renew. So you have to renew it uh, manually. And there were, you know, obviously there were quite a few people that just had not renewed their their Twitch Prime subscription because of the break. They they like to renew on stream, or you know, simply they were hanging out with friends and family during that time, which is phenomenal and I'm, I'm totally fine with that. So it was, that was that week. Um, and then this last week, so, uh, my stream week would be from the ninth through to the 13th normally, uh, but we had pack South and that was super exciting and, um, leading up to it. So that means I streamed Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, um, uh, Friday and Saturday I was off and my, the <laughs> that's my wife and the dog is being bad apparently <laughs> um uh, anyway uh in those days in those three days you know leading up before i took another break um to do pack south um 
my the armada just stepped up and freaking crushed it uh we brought it to 31 subscribers um so that was an all all time high um and actually brought us what 19 away from the goal of 50 um which would be pay which would pay for uh my internet and i'll riff on how terrible the internet options are um where i live in something else um, cause we're already at 15 minutes. Holy fuck nuggets. So, <clears throat> see, it's going to be really difficult for me. Um, so I mean that brings us current now. Um, pack South was phenomenal. I'm going to just kind of go over. This is going to be a longer one. I did have disclaimers and stuff in the beginning. So yeah, this is going to be a longer video. Um, but pack South was a blast. Um, Every single conference that I go to, be it TwitchCon, PAX South, um, I might be going to Pensacon uh, this year. I, I'm always looking at it um, just like I do with everything um, from a business minded perspective. Um, starting streaming, even way back when I was you know, streaming with a buddy um, on the Comrade Cast, the idea was treat it like a business and try to make a living at it. Um, I mean, obviously, um, you can't expect to hit play or hit live, you know, start streaming and just immediately make a living at it. Some people basically do, but it's like the one in a million freak accident of the universe when that happens. Um, so anyway, um, pack South. Going into it business minded, uh, the best things that you can do at a con for furthering your your broadcasting business, your your live streaming career, is networking. And you want to network with game developers. You want to network with um, people that are within the platform that you're on. So for me, um, Twitch staff and. Uh, than people in ancillary industries, um, you know, the supporting industries for live streaming. Um, so in that case, it would be, you know, uh, game, well, I say game devs already, um, you know, like Streamlabs, Muxy, anything of that nature that, you know, is directly related to the broadcasting um, industry. And so Pack South is... They kind of call it, I kind of, I call it the hometown packs because, um, it's a lot smaller than all the other packs is and, uh, everyone just kind of hangs out. Um, there are, you know, some corporately sponsored parties and things like that. But honestly, if you're not a partner, um, or really close friends with a partner, the odds of you hearing, well, you'll hear about it. If you're looking at the the con from a uh, professional business mindset, you're going to hear about those parties. You'll hear about the Muxy party, the SOS party, you know, all of these things. You won't be able to get in, um, but you'll hear about them. So I didn't get into any of that. I got into the, uh, the Forge party, which is hosted by a couple of friends of mine, uh, Lex Manos and Trotter, um, Lex runs Forge. Um, Forge is a Minecraft thing. Lex, I'm sorry. <laughs> if you watch this, I, I am still just so freaking, it, I'm so freaking uh, lost on exactly what Forge is. I just know that it is absolutely, absolutely integral to running modded Minecraft. Um, and that's all I need to know. Really, that's, that's all I need to know is Lex helps to make, um, modded Minecraft, uh, a reality, a possibility and what it is. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, um, we had that, um, and the kind of bittersweet thing about PAX South, at least for me is because it's treated as almost a little vacation, a reunion for, um, you know, for internet friends, basically, you know, other broadcasters and things of that nature. Um, being able to meet new broadcasters and network with them, um, strike up friendships, uh, things of that nature. It's, it's a lot more difficult. Um, thankfully though, this year, um, I did actually, I got to meet a few new broadcasters and hang out with them. I, uh, 
I met that fail gamer, DFG, um, and got to hang out with him for a bit, uh, which was actually, it turns out, a, an even bigger surprise and treat because uh, he is actually from the UK and just happened to be here for the Christmas holiday and um, was able to extend his stay to be able to come to Pack South. So I got to hang out with that fail gamer, um, which was a lot of fun. The accent was incredibly entertaining um, as well as his personality. Um, I also got to uh, hang out a little bit more with Direwolf20. Um, I I mean, he's a mixer streamer um, and mainly YouTuber, uh, but it was it was still nice. I think he's a mixer. He doesn't really stream much. He does more YouTube than anything. You know, he's the author of the Diary of 20 mod pack uh, for Minecraft and YouTube is where is where he's at. Um, so um, I had met him a couple of times at PAX South and uh, last year. And so I got to, you know, actually have a few conversations with me with him and he's a Real cool dude, real real chill dude. Um, was glad for that uh, new new opportunity to meet someone. And then I also let's see there was someone. Oh, um, Wolf Wolf Twenty Wolf Twenty Wolf Twenty One. Shit. Um, Wolf Twenty One Twenty One Dire Wolf Twenty Wolf Twenty One. Um, I got to get to meet him. Um, I had seen him. You know. You go to these conventions and you see see people, you know, across the room at a party and you never really get the opportunity to break away from what you're doing to uh, to go meet them. And I got to meet uh, and hang out with Wolf 21, which was cool. Um, <laughs> so story time, a uh, little story here. I, you know, I had been drinking. Okay, so preface with that, um, it doesn't it doesn't actually factor in here, um, but I've been drinking a little bit, um, and so I was a little off guard when it came to, um, you know, what was going to trigger a memory of my brother and what was gonna you know get me emotional. Um, so I guess it does factor in a little bit, but anyway, I'm talking to a buddy of mine at um, the Forge Ranch. And Wolf is there, and he's been really engaged with other people. And I had uh, seen him there the night before, and my plan was, you know, when he kind of disengages, I'm going to go introduce myself and, um, you know, see if he's somebody that I like and that I'd like to spend time with, um, you know, maybe strike up a friendship with. And uh, so that had not happened yet. Um, he had been completely engaged and then, you know, I was engaged with someone else when he disengaged, so on and so forth. So, um, sketch or oi sketchy IO, um, he's who I was talking to and he, you know, brought up his nephew and playing with his nephew and that just like it, like I said, I was, I was off guard. And so it, uh, it made me think about Matt and, you know, the fact that I'm not going to get to play with my brother's, you know, son, my there's I'm not going to have a nephew um, from him um, or a niece from him. And so that that just like caught me off guard and I, you know, started crying. So I went to the bathroom and, you know, worked through that real quick. Um, and my wife comes in to check on me because she didn't know what was going on. Um, so she opens the door and doesn't close it behind her. And so I'm in there and I'm, you know, clearing it out, working through it. Um, she's like, Hey, what's going on? You know, I tell her what happened. And, um, so about the time that I'm starting to really get, uh, really teared up because, you know, she asked and I told her and uh, teared up again. Um, Wolf comes around the corner to come into the bathroom and just is like, and just turns around and walks out. And I'm like, well, that's an, that's a memorable way to meet somebody. <laughs> um, so yeah, I met a few new people, um, at PAX South and, uh, but it was fantastic for, you know, just getting to hang out with friends. 
uh, getting to hang out with other broadcasters, with other people in the industry. Um, it's always amazing to see those guys, to see, you know, Technostar, um, Cletho, Zeldo. Um, it just hanging out with those guys is a big, big benefit of live streaming that you don't really know going in. Uh, so that's now at 25 minutes. So we're 10 minutes over. Um, I am going to do my dangdest to try and shorten this in the future. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's vlog one or vlog zero, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to I'm going to say it's episode one. Um, so. Overall, how, where I'm at, like emotionally, where I'm at um, mentally is. PAX was good. I'm happy with that. Um, and moving forward, I think that, um, oh, I made a few decisions. Sorry. Like I said, just boom, boom, boom. Um, I made a few decisions about broadcasting. Um, I have been wanting to get back into Minecraft more. And, uh, just recently, you know, I started, uh, making my own mod pack and I am going to be streaming Minecraft we're going to say three days a week. Um, that may change, but three days a week conc uh, concurrently. And then I'm going to have a day where um, if I have any uh, creative projects, then I'll be doing those creative projects on that day. And then the fifth day is going to be whatever. Whatever I feel like playing, whether it's Dark Souls or Katamari, you know, just whatever um, I feel like playing. The, like, true bona fide variety day um, and then of course the creative day also has the option of a variety day and because I'm a variety streamer I can say fuck you we're playing damn it mm. it's hard for me not to cuss um, I can I can just be like you know what it's my prerogative that even though I'm supposed to play Minecraft today I want to play insert game um, so yeah you're gonna see three days a week of Minecraft or uh, Minecraft pack development, mod pack development, um, and I feel like there was one more thing, one more decision that I made about broadcasting. Maybe not. Oh, no, yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the decision was this. Yeah, the, that was the other thing, was that I'm going to do this vlog, uh, and I'm going to for sure do it at least every other week and, you know, recap the two weeks prior. Um, maybe... If it's like cathartic for me or something like that, you know, if it does something positive for my mental state and my happiness, then, you know, maybe I'll do it every Monday. Um, hopefully not 28 minutes worth. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So I'm going to go to the offline panel right there. Um, so <laughs> that's going to change. I'm going to have some some new assets as well for next uh, next episode. But that is my correct broadcasting schedule, and that is Central Standard Time. Thank you all for listening to me ramble, and um, hopefully hopefully it Im you know, improves your life in some capacity, um, even if that's just you find my voice very soothing. No. All right. See you later.